Antibiotic resistance happens when bacteria adapt to survive the drugs used to kill them. This evolutionary process is speeded up by our misuse of antibiotics in both humans and animals. Because such bacteria cause infections that are harder to treat, antibiotic resistance directly results in longer hospitalizations, higher healthcare costs, and more deaths. This is a microbiology laboratory in Singapore. In here, we try to find out what bacteria are causing infections in patients and also test these bacteria to find out which antibiotics work best against them. I bet most of you do not know what drug resistant bacteria look like or how we test for them. So we are going to show that to you using a bacterium called Terrasium assassins, which produces an orange pigment. These are agar plates on which we have placed antibiotic strips. The strips are called E-test strips and they contain ascending concentrations of an antibiotic which diffuses out into the agar around it. On the left, the bacteria is sensitive to the antibiotic. The space covered in orange represents the area that the bacteria can grow in. As the concentration of the antibiotic increases, the clear space around the strip increases in size as well. This clear space represents the area that the bacteria cannot grow because of the antibiotic and is also known as the zone of inhibition. On the right, the bacteria is resistant to the antibiotic. As you can see, it grows all the way up to the strip, even at the highest concentrations of the antibiotic, which is more than 100 times higher than what we routinely administer to sick people. More and more bacteria are resistant to multiple antibiotics nowadays. Here, we have big agar plates on which we have placed multiple antibiotic discs. These discs contain a certain concentration of antibiotic, which diffuses out into the agar around it. On the left, we have a typical bacteria that is sensitive to almost all the antibiotics tested, and you can see clear zones of inhibition around all the discs except one. Again, these clear zones represent the area that the bacteria cannot grow because of the antibiotics. On the right, we have a multi-resistant bacteria. It can grow through virtually all the many antibiotics tested. I hope these experiments help you understand what antibiotic resistance is about and why antibiotics can fail to work against drug-resistant bacterial infections. Antibiotics are a precious and finite resource, so please use them wisely.